Law enforcement agencies, as you know, are ramping up efforts across the country, making sure everyone stays safe and things stay peaceful. Uh, again, across the nation and right here in Oregon, the capital in Salem has been the site of many protests uh, over the past several months. Some of these even turning violent. We do have team coverage for you tonight on the efforts to keep things safe tomorrow, including Fox 12's Drew Marine, who has the game plan tonight from law enforcement across the state. Well, let's start off with Fox 12's Drew Reeves and what police at the Oregon Capitol are doing to get ready there. Drew? Yeah, well, right now there is nothing happening here at the Oregon State Capitol, but law enforcement believes it may not look like this tomorrow. Multiple agencies are preparing for what could happen here in Salem, but also hope the day stays quiet and peaceful. A beautiful day at Oregon's Capitol, silent the night before Inauguration Day. But come tomorrow, no one knows what to expect. We are all preparing on what is going to or what possibly could occur here in our beautiful state of Oregon. Recently, some protests have turned violent here at the Capitol, including a December protest where people tried to force their way into the locked building. Protests that we've seen as of late here directed at the Capitol have also impacted our Salem community in a variety of ways. Salem police say tomorrow criminal activity will not be tolerated. We remain neutral and make decisions based on the best interest of public safety. These preparations are also being made as lawmakers start up the 2021 legislative session. Today marks the first day of our legislative session in Oregon. And because of that, and because of the threats that have been made throughout the nation, your Oregon State Police are ensuring that your state government remains intact and continues. Today and tomorrow, committees are meeting online and not at the Capitol. People are used to being able to come into the building, interact with committees, interact with individual legislators, uh, both their own and legislators that represent other districts. Uh, advocates, activists have been able to come in and have uh, very free and easy access to our processes. That is not going to be the case now. Police say that their goals tomorrow will be keeping opposing groups separated and to ensure things stay peaceful. And have a great time exercising your First Amendment rights. We are here to keep everybody safe. And the FBI does say that if you have any information about planned violence, that you should contact authorities. They say they hope to intervene before that violence occurs. Reporting live in Salem, Drew Reeves, Fox 12, Oregon.